what's up everybody welcome back to Jay's car channel I'm gonna do a real quick little turnaround video on this black plastic on the back of this 2005 Crown Victoria police interceptor so over time it just gets really neglected and beat down and you can tell I just wanted to show what it looks like but you can tell it's just funky and kind of milky looking uh, so I'm gonna show you both sides here get a good view of what that looks like but I'm gonna prep this by doing a rinseless wash and clay it and then the next part of this video is basically going to have this taped off and I'm going to show you the polishing step show you everything I use so just wanted to get a good before here and you can even see down here it's pretty bad which I'll probably polish that by hand but I'm basically going to focus on this area here but I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to the polishing step next so here we go I've done the prep work everything's taped off I've cleaned this and clayed it done those steps and now I'm going to go to polishing using this little Rupes mini battery operated polisher. It's a two and a half inch, I think, pad. So it's a one step pad and one step polish. And I'm on speed, speed four. So you want to shake up the polish and then apply a little bit to this pad. Just go give a couple little drops there. Don't put too much. One thing you like to do on these type of pads is always work the, pad, the polish into the pad a little bit there before you go to the surface. Kind of evenly get it through the fibers there. And then kind of go in here and go against your surface so you don't fling it everywhere. And then go to work. After polishing this section with a one pass, I'm going to take a plush towel and wipe this polish residue off. Should come off real easy. Should reveal a good surface there. If we bring the camera in, you can kind of see this side versus over here you should be able to see the difference yeah, it's kind of hazy over here and then over here it should be clear you should see a good reflection and that's just one pass so you know you can go multiple passes but one pass to me is a pretty massive improvement so that's pretty much it thanks for watching see you on the next one thanks so here's the after on the rear valence and it's not perfect but I think you can tell a huge difference so that's pretty much the results